David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review and a giveaway. Today I have for you the latest release from Narwhal called the Original Demonstrator. What I'm going to do is go over the parts and features of this Narwhal pen, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for, I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Uh, thanks go out to the good folks at Narwhal for providing this pen for review and to give away to one of you. So stay tuned to the end of the review where I will let you know how you can potentially win this very pen. The pen arrives in this box. Uh, I like the Narwhal logo on here as well as the gradient colors of their logo. Uh, inside we have a couple of things. There is a use and care guide as well as a little wrench that you could use to disassemble the pen for maintenance. Um, now, while it's nice that they include this little wrench, there's no mention of it uh, in the use and care guide. There's no instructions on how to use it. Um, since this is a fairly inexpensive pen, you might have people purchasing these pens who really don't know the purpose of this wrench and how to use it, so some instructions would be useful. Um, I also have a small concern about this wrench that I'll demonstrate during the writing sample. And here is the pen. This is the original demonstrator. Now there's two models of this pen. There is this transparent model and then there's another one made from opaque black material. Uh, this one is not currently inked. I'll link it up later but I wanted you to be able to get a good look at this. Um, now it's made from a transparent resin and it really gives you a good look at all of the inner workings in here. Uh, let's start by taking a look at the cap. The top of the cap is rounded and accentuated by this metal insert. I think it's interesting that this isn't just a small piece of metal affixed to the top of the cap. It is a longer piece embedded into the finial. Um, it gives the top of the cap just a different look. Uh, then we have the clip. It's not overly long, but it's size appropriate for this cap. Now, I do find it to be a bit stiff. In order to use this in a shirt, it does take a bit of concerted effort. Um, so I think it could have standed to be just a little bit more flexible. Um, I do like that you could clearly see the nib through the cap. Um, I do wish that the nib would be in alignment with the cap, either facing like straight up or straight down, but that's just a bit of a personal pet peeve. There is a small angled step down to the barrel, which begins with a band where the Narwhal company name is stamped. Now, in regard to the alignment of the band, I have two of these pens and the bands have different orientations, so I don't feel there was intention in how they were put on. I think they were just assembled and how the band was put on was how it was put on. It doesn't look terrible, but if you've watched many of my videos, you know that alignment of things like the nib and the band, as I said, are personal pet peeves and really have nothing to do with the actual performance of the pen. The barrel is fairly straight, tapering down slightly at the end where it meets the piston knob and at the end of the piston knob, it is rounded. I like that you could get a good look at this piston as well. Um, this pen has a decent ink capacity. When it's inked, there's plenty of area in here for the in the ink chamber to see it sloshing about. The cap twists off with a rotation and a half. Um, underneath we have a stainless steel number six nib, uh, something new for Narwhal. Previously their nibs were laser engraved. Beginning with this model, they are now stamped. Uh, while there are varying qualities of laser engraved nibs, in general, I personally prefer those that are stamped. I just think they look a little bit better. And I do feel that the new nib design on this pin is an improvement. The nib is available in fine or medium. The fine nibs are marked with an F on the side of the nib, but the medium is not marked at all. And here's a look at the plastic feed. The section begins with a very slight flare and angles up just a little bit. Uh, the section kind of gives the illusion of being shorter than it really is because you can see the, the black feed uh, and then the look is broken up by seeing the internal threads. Uh, the section transitions into the cap threads and a very small step up to the aforementioned band and the rest of the barrel. Uh, the pen is fairly light, but it does have a quality feel to it. It doesn't feel cheap or plasticky. Um, I care for the thickness of the section. Uh, I'm able to maintain a decent grip and it feels very comfortable in my hand. 
The pen is plenty long enough to use unposted. The cap does post. Uh, it doesn't post that deeply, however, and it adds a considerable amount of length to this pen. Um, I do find the cap is light, so I don't think that additional length throws off the balance or backweights the pen. However, there is a different issue. Um, as you've seen, this is a piston filler, and when the pen is when the cap is posted, um, that it is not posting on the barrel, it but it's actually posting on the piston knob itself. Um, this becomes an issue if when you are unposting the cap, you should happen to twist the knob just a little bit or twist it a little bit as you are removing the cap, and that will actually engage the piston. And you can see I'm twisting the cap here, and the piston is moving. If you're not careful, this could lead to a rather bad incident. Um, if this cap was just posted a little bit deeper, then it'd post on the barrel rather than the piston knob and this wouldn't be an issue. The Narwhal Original Demonstrator retails for $45 and is available at a wide variety of retailers. And I think that that's a reasonable price for what you receive with this pen. Uh, it's more than a Twisby Eco, but less than a Twisby Diamond 580. So if you're looking for a reasonably priced piston filling clear demonstrator, then this Narwhal is worth checking out. Uh, in regard to the giveaway, all you need to do is to be a subscriber to this YouTube channel and leave a comment on this video. Uh, in regard to a comment topic, uh, with this pen being a clear demonstrator, why don't you let me know your favorite clear demonstrator pen, or one that you just think is rather cool. The comment topic is just a suggestion and not a requirement. Uh, 72 hours after the posting of this video, I will randomly select a winner and reply to your comment with instructions on how to claim your prize. So pay attention to your YouTube notifications and your comment replies. I've had many original winners who did not get their prize because they didn't respond to me and I've had to move on to another winner. So don't let that happen to you. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Go with some size comparisons for the Narwhal Original Demonstrator. Uh, in regard to a couple of other Narwhal pens, here is another one of the uh, Original Demonstrators. Uh, and then also here is the recent model that was released, or not that long ago. This is a Schuylkill. Uh, and then here it is with another clear demonstrator, which is the Platinum 3776 Yamanaka. And in regard to some other somewhat transparent pens, here it is with a Lamy Vista. Then here it is with a Twisby Eco. And then finally, here it is with a Twisby Diamond 580. In regard to some uncapped comparisons, uh, here it is with that Eco. It's pretty similar in size to the Eco. And here it is with the Vista. And here it is with the 3776. Now, I had mentioned that I had a little bit of an issue with this wrench, and I was gonna demonstrate this to you. If you don't know what these wrenches are for, it's so that you could actually remove this whole piston mechanism in the back if you need to either clean or you have to reapply some uh, silicone grease in here. And what you do is you untwist the piston, and I know it's very difficult to hear or see here, but there is two flat sides to the inner piece here. And what you do is then you attach the wrench there. Now the issue I have is this inner piece is plastic and the fit is very tight on here. The first time I, I did it, it was very tight. I just wish the tolerance was a little bit less here and that it was a little bit looser because I looked at it with a, uh, with a loop and you could tell that it was scraping against the size and causing a little bit of damage. Now, in the long run, is that gonna cause damage to the pen? No, I don't think so. But it was just the fact that it's a little too tight. I think it could just be slightly looser and you could still get the, uh, the accomplish the same thing here. Now, this is not even inked up, just basically because I wanted to be able to show everything. Uh, and the ink that I'm going to be using today that I thought would look neat in here is this Kala Neon Blue Dude. 
Um, this is what the ink looks like. It is a, a really nice neon blue, and compared to some of the other neons in the lineup, I wouldn't necessarily categorize it as neon as, as far as some of the other ones are concerned. Yes, it's a bright blue, but it's fairly similar to something like the Hiroshizuko Ama Iro, or even something like Papier Plume's Peacock Blue. So it's, uh, yes, it is very bright, uh, but it isn't quite as loud as some of the other neon line from Kala. I do have a review that shows a whole bunch of uh, different versions or different models uh, or inks in that line if you'd like to see them. But I think it would be neat to go ahead and ink this up. Now I know this is an odd angle and you really can't see it that well, but I'm just going to put a little bit of ink in here and wipe it off and you can see it sloshing around in there and that's a really nice blue in there and you could really change the looks of the pen just by the different colors of inks and I could uh, work to get that more full or get a little bit better full fill in there so here we have the narwhal Original Demonstrator. This is a fine stainless steel nib. And the ink, uh, as I mentioned, is Kala uh, Neon Blue Dude. And in regard to the rest of the writing sample, I find this fine nib to be pleasant. I don't find it to be scratchy at all. That's the one thing I really don't like about some extra fine and fine nibs is the scratchiness. I find this one to be fairly smooth. Uh, I'm pleased with the smoothness of this particular nib. Uh, and the ink flow uh, is a little bit on the dry side in regard to reverse writing. It didn't perform the greatest in regard to reverse writing, but in regard to some fast writing, the feed has no issues in keeping up. So here we have the Narwhal Original Demonstrator. If you're looking for a clear demonstrator pen in that $45 range, uh, then this is something you should definitely take a look at. There's a lot to like here. Um, I especially am surprised and enjoy the, uh, the fine nib on this particular pen. I think it performs very well. So don't forget to leave your comment in order to enter to win this very pen. And until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.